Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's been extremely hot I've had about two and a half hours sleep so I thought today rather than you know get myself in a kerfuffle die cut in we'd do something different now then storage storage of course if you're a crafter is extremely important it's not important you know sort of how you do it or where you put it but how you store it can be important now some people they like to put everything neat and tidy behind closed doors you know whether it's a cupboard or it's a drawer x y and z i'm not somebody who does that no i have to see it so my craft room is i can tell you you see my camera is a really cheap logitech camera you can get it from walmart for about 50 bucks and everything i do here is on a budget i use natural lighting from my window i don't use any fancy lights i don't use any enhanced microphones i don't use anything like that i just do what i do because i thoroughly enjoy it so one of the things with my camera is it is currently to show the correct way around to you is actually upside down so if i tilted it it would quite literally hit a wall and i have it mounted onto a cantilever lamp stand and i did that myself i got that from walmart and so it will you know lift up and down and i think that cost about seven dollars and 99 cents or something so quite literally this is a budget crafting channel and one of the biggest questions i get asked is how do you store your dies how do you store your stuff well like i just said i'm somebody who if it's behind closed doors i'll never use it so i quite literally have to see everything that i've got and so i put it onto open shelves now of course if you've got open shelves and you do that you're going to constantly have to dust that's not you know number one topic on my list i always think housework is for boring people yeah so my living room <laughs> is incredibly minimalist i mean it really is it's just a couch and a tv and a couple of things hung on a wall and a great big sunburst mirror i mean quite literally that's it and all of my clutter as i like to call it all my comforting stuff is in my craft room so anyway i want to show you because i'm always asked how i store my stuff now at the beginning of this video you will see some of the larger items that i cannot fit into my camera and those are my ink pads all of my ink pads are on spectrum noir i think it's spectrum noir and crafters companion storage racks so i use their ink pad racks and you know just scanning my eyes across the room now if you've got the full set of tim holtz distress and oxide and you collect them when they're coming out i'm just going to do a quick count here you're going to need 50 of those racks so you need to put up a shelf that is reasonably you know sturdy and you're going to need 50 of those if you're going to have just the tim holtz distress inks in the oxide and the regular distress and then of course if you've got others like i have the full collection of stays on because i also like to stamp onto glass and plastic even wood uh, because it's extremely permanent jewelry pieces metal you know stuff like that so you need stays on for that i mean people say once you start getting into crafting that you you end up quite literally with tons and tons of stuff and you do and it's not a matter of hoarding it's just a specific thing that does a specific thing and you know if you're ever needing it eventually you're going to go out and buy it and you're going to need somewhere to put it so anyway my ink pads are on the spectrum noir i also have the full collection of uh, versafine so i've got the versafine the versafine claire i've got the um oh i can't even remember the name of it now it's uh oh lux yeah it's called lux ink which is also by Tsukineko, which is a japanese company that do all the versafine ink so i even know that uh, so i have those and then i am a lover of pens and of alcohol ink pens and so i use spectrum noir alcohol ink pen racks 
and if I scan across the room now just to give you a quick uh, one two three I have a hundred and twenty of those and what I do with those to save money um, you should actually see the picture of my pens at the beginning of the video I stack them all single layer which is how it's meant to be and then on the top trays I will double stack so if I've got paint pens which are too thick to go in the single layers I will stack them all up on top because I do have some really really chunky markers which are done by uh, golden uh, paints and I think my biggest nib on those is about an inch and a half so there's something that has to sit on the tops of the racks but smaller things I can show you and uh, I'll start showing you some of those now these are things that you see all of the time in my videos and I stack these 20 high so I've actually unscrewed this one so I can just swipe it back and forth in the camera and I keep sequins charms little bits of gems these are flat backs these are you know you don't use them all the time but if you want to make a Christmas ornament or a little ornament or a charm or a tag then you know you're going to end up buying something like that which is flat you glue your object to it it might be a little handmade paper flower but if you turn it over I'll turn it over you can see there's a hole there so you can put your jump ring or your twine through but you know it's something that you do not use all the time but you need somewhere to store it and for me personally these tubes are the best because it goes back once again to seeing what I've got because if I keep it in a bag and put it in a bag or put it in a box I don't know that I've got it I might reorder it for a second or a third time but seeing what you've got and if you've made a card you can instantly visually um, colour coordinate do you know what I mean so I've got like Christmas stuff here cupcake candies I've got little blue and white snowflakes I've got Mickey Mousey stuff and what have I got in here I've got Valentine hearts for example so whenever I'm doing something I can have just a really quick scan just to my left on my shelf and I can see all of the colours that might fit with my theme and then I even get gifted sequins like these I got from a lady in my craft group who is called Fancy and I haven't seen her around in a while but she sent me these lovely bullseye sequins in pink blue and yellow so you know I'll keep those there and then I've got resin roses <laughs> so just odd things you know there, there are my resin roses in bright colors and then I know that I've also got them in pastel pink because I can just look over my shoulder and they're perfectly protected and they're in there and then all I have to do is take it down once a week or once every couple of weeks and just wipe the the top lid off because the rest of it is clean and protected so that's how I do that now my inks I show this as well when I'm doing my inking and I use these smaller tubes and I keep all of my blending foams inside to protect them from humidity and you know dust in the end if you've got them all sort of like stuck in a rack can actually deteriorate the foam so if you want them to last a little bit longer putting them in something that's airtight and sealed um, it's certainly going to do that mine have been like this now for a couple of years and they still work absolutely perfectly and then whenever I'm ready to get something you know I just unscrew it and you get your tool and you just dip it in and pick up the foam that you're going to use I've got black on here at the moment because that's one that I use an awful lot but you know once again you can get these from Walmart you can get them from AliExpress it's entirely up to you but more often than not these are sold out in Walmart and uh, they're usually found in the haberdashery section along with the larger ones here that I keep my sequins in so you know that's another one and here you see the black one has come out of there so these are three that I keep together all the time and whereas I'll tower these up as high as I can get them on my shelf for space saving um, the ones that I use the most which vintage photo walnut stain and uh, black soot I just keep those three together just so I can grab them 
but then I also keep extras if I need an extra and you can see I've already sort of depleted this and I will refill this because I buy them in bulk and I do get my blending foams from Aliexpress but you know it's just so easy to do that everything's clean it's tidy and you know once in a while if if it suits you just dust the lids off that's all that you have to do now going on to my dies because I know people are interested in that because I have thousands of them and um, if I show you this box here you'll probably understand now this is a small box now these are the kinds of things that get my imagination going you see now my other dies and my papers are stored in boxes like this they're called iris boxes this size is the photo box and i think you get 16 to a case so i have several cases with these in and they're all labeled you can see fruit veg cake etc now i've got several of the same all with different ones in but my larger ones are 12 by 12 and they're the four inch deep that I'll keep card stocks in so that you know I haven't got to dig right to the bottom of a really deep one to say get a yellow card stock um, when the top ones are red and blue if you know what I mean so four inch deep on my iris boxes for my card stock but then for my dies and stamp collections I get the 12 by 12 in the six inch deep and the cheapest place to get those from is in bulk from Joanne or Michael's and they quite literally stand on the floor I only stack my cases three high because I think any more than that um, you might run a risk of crushing anything that's below it especially as they're so heavy but because they're sized like that I can keep my silicon moulds my stencils I keep my 6 inch pads and my 12 inch pads my open card stock I keep all my ephemera bits in one box um, so for example I have vintage boxes speciality paper boxes and they're all labels with a labeler like this you can see I've got distress on there because these are distress inks and um, the label that came from Amazon and was like 10 or 11 dollars and I absolutely love it so when I get anything I'll just label it so you see that's got distress on and that's just got O on the top so that's oxide and that's distress so that's how you know once again I know what's in a tube so I'm just sharing my organization here so anyway let's open this because this is where my creativity comes from it comes from chaos it does not come from organization if I'm organized I can see oh yeah that's nice and that's pretty and I used it last week and maybe I'll use it again next year but I find when I put things in a chaotic manner in a box like this like I've got this cute little tea set and now that's on a magnet because that is a set but then I've got cake and I've got pie slices and even though that's a different designer I know that it will go with that tea set because maybe I've only used it on its own before and then mooching in here I've got lemons you know and lemon cups which if you wanted to make a cup of lemon tea instead you know I can think ah and I can make a pot of lemon tea and I can change it up like that and then I can make it prettier by adding a teacup border and totally altering that and making it like the edge of a shelf or something and then I've just showed that pie and then we start getting into little tags that can be used for tea and then I've got pears and I've got stars and I've got little apples and I'm a huge fruit collector as you know I'm just moving those out of the way but then this is um, a huge apple no it's not it's a strawberry there you go so I bought this a long while ago it can be a mini album it can be a card whoops pick that piece up and these are layering pieces and then I've got smaller strawberries that can go onto my bigger strawberry and you've seen my strawberry collection so you know they're off in another box but there's another apple so I might decide to change things up and then <clears throat> maybe I want to get into a jar and I want to put strawberry jam do you know what I mean so things like this I may have used it before but I can use it again because I've got all sorts of little things that I can put it with 
like I could have a strawberry soda bottle and put it with my strawberries so it becomes um, a different use for me and then I've got donuts and then you know a lacy teacup and I think that's a strip of apples that I've got in a swap and then I've got this lovely cupcake that I might want to put with that tea set even though I've just used this cupcake on a card and then I've got a little garden set in there and I don't know how on earth that got in there unless it's relative to fruit and vegetables but another little teeny weeny donut set that I could match up from another design app with that larger donut and another strawberry I've got pineapples tomatoes and I've just got all sorts of stuff in there that once I take the designer element out of it I can use with whatever I want and I hope that makes sense because sometimes people will buy a whole set of something and it's great to keep a set of something uh, together especially if it's all small parts so that you know you know you just know where you're coming from when you're doing that but I think sometimes when kept in a set it can prevent you from creating other things with that set so I hope that that kind of explains how I do my smaller dies so I get a lot of stuff from piggy store and I know instantly looking at it that I got it from piggy store but if it's a film frame that I just got then it's going in a box with all my other film frames or my little um Oh, what do they call them film slides stuff like that you know those little folders that you fold together with the little apertures in them and I might have seven or eight or even half a dozen or a dozen or two dozen of exactly the same thing but it's got different stitching a different size aperture and so things like that tend to go together rather than keep them with the designer and from that I add other things and it becomes something totally different all the time so this is one of the photo boxes and I've just explained how I do my big boxes. Now for other things, I will just move that out of the way. I color coordinate and that is for things like this. Now these boxes, smoky colored and slightly transparent, you can get them in Walmart or in Dollar Tree. Now when I bought all mine, they were a dollar. Now these have one purpose only and I'll open it up and I will show you you can see the color inside is the same as the box so these are all of my Tim Holtz 3d folders so this is how I keep them and I've got boxes that are just folders but I'll use the extra space and I'll put it in there with my impress lit so all of my impress lits are all kept together and so they're all in these smoky color boxes so you know I've got lots of different things I've got the little mini folders and I've got borders and lace and I've got other boxes of the borders and what have you as well but just moving them around just to make space so that you can get everything into it and then if you've got enough room because the lid is quite deep they I can add my other two folders right on top and I can close that up do you know what I mean and that goes on the shelf and instantly looking at the color of it I know what color those folders are so I know what those folders are and I certainly know who designed them so I just wanted to say that that it doesn't matter what size of craft room you've got but whatever you've got make sure that you use what you've got and enjoy using it and if you create even if it's just one case of little chaos boxes like this that help you to move stuff from other places you know <laughs> because i actually started off my die collection in a oh what do you call it in a photo album with photo sleeves and it got heavier and heavier and then all the sleeves would start tearing or they would slide or they were just too heavy to pick off the shelf so you know and and then i progressed to having an entire magnetic wall where i would have all of my die sets and frames and everything in perfect order and i thought do i want a second magnetic wall and the answer was no and i took off the first one and i just went to a thrift store and i bought a huge piece of furniture which has got drawers and open shelves and i put all my boxes and stuff on there and everything is on display i can see it i can see the colors i can see 
you know basically where I'm going to use it seasonally or if I've just received a new die um, from one of the sellers on AliExpress then I can look and I can say oh you know great you know I've got a, a piece of orange card in that box over there that matches perfectly and I know it's going to match because I can see straight through that box I don't have to start opening cupboards and pulling things out it's just all there on display right so this was an alternative video today i hope it explained a bit and i hope that it was helpful oh and another thing that people always ask me is why don't you ever show yourself on camera and i think that for me an important part of creating is doing it when i'm in the mood and that is first thing in the morning and i really don't want to be on camera in my gym jams which i usually am with a bedhead genuinely I just don't and so I hope that my voice and my hands and what I create is enough and uh, you know my hands yeah I know and I've heard some terrible comments on other people's videos about people's hands and mine are in the soil all the time and you know my fingernails can be a bit rough sometimes they're too short sometimes they're too long but I'm really happy with my hands i really don't care what anyone thinks of my hands i used to in the autumn you know grow them out because i can grow them quite quickly and pop some nail polish and stuff on because pretty fingernails are nice but then i discovered i quite like fall gardening too so that's gone out of the window but just be happy in what you do and be happy with what you create and i hope this video was useful and today i am just going to be linking ways to store down below have an awesome day and i will be back to creating tomorrow thanks so much for joining me bye